Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. It is Sarah here and I have not been here on the channel in quite some time on some videos. It has been Gareth at the helm for the last little while. I thought I would take you guys out on a little ride today. I am headed out on the Chief. It is beautiful and sunshiny outside. <laughs> sunshiny is not even a word, but hey. And it's a brilliant temperature for getting out on the bike. So I'm going to find a new place for the GoPro on the Chief and going to hit the road. So since I was last out on the Chief, Gareth has actually been out and he's fitted the rock form mount to it which I might take off today, I'm not 100% sure. But also the last time I had the GoPro on this, I couldn't quite find on these bars a good place to put it. So I'm going to get the clamp off of the Slim, which has been my bike of choice recently, ever since having the new Oberon levers fitted. Um, these beauties. It has made my whole riding experience on that bike change for the better. Already loved it, but these certainly did help make it even better than what it was before for my poor little hands. <laughs> so if you haven't seen that video, these are adjustable. This little lever here, you turn that and it brings the lever in or out. And it just means that your reach on the levers isn't as much of a struggle if you have maybe smaller hands or have had injuries with your hands. So that took a little bit longer than I wanted it to. <laughs> I could not find a place for the GoPro mount to mount onto the frame of the Chief. None of the angles were right. Some of the fitments were either too narrow or too thick. Like I just wasn't working at all. So I have resorted to popping it onto my helmet, which I was kind of hoping not to do, have to do today, but hey-ho, um, we're wasting daylight hours here and wasting sunshine, so I'm going to get kicked up and get on it. do today and I've been wanting to do this for a little while now is actually to try out the sat nav on this bike. I do have an idea of where I'm headed today but I thought I might as well try this today and see how it works. So I'm going to put my bike up, load the ride command, hopefully you guys can see that from here. It's flickering quite a lot, I'm really sorry. <laughs> Uh, the frame rate on the GoPro. Um, so let's figure this out together. So we're going to go into here and it'll be map. And it's loading navigation. It's saying it's connected to my phone as well. I've not figured out yet if I need to have it connected to my phone to be able to have the map. I mean, it'll need to come from somewhere, I suppose. So here we are. So what I'm going to do is hit the search button, search, and I'm going to type in where I am heading, which is a place called Lime Kilns. Hit search. Let's see if it works. And if it doesn't work, then I'm still going to pop this in anyway, even if this doesn't <laughs> go the way that I hope it would go, because let's, I'm going to try and be a bit, let's be real here. So it's doing something anyway. Oh, it eventually worked. Right, okay. So it's eventually got where I wanted. It just took a little few minutes to get there. I've actually probably not skipped you very much um, at all. So I'm going to hit the green button and hopefully it won't take that much longer. As you can probably hear, I've started to bike up as well. So here. Okay. Let's see what happens. I've never used a sat-nav on a bike before. I'm assuming that that's me kind of... Oh, there we go. Okay. We're good. We're good to go. 
so far so good on the sat nav. Obviously, I know where I'm going, so that's not really it's not really a true test when you know where you're going, is it? However, a couple of things I have liked so far is how easy it is to get through the screens to be able to see other things on your bike when in sat nav. So, for example, I knew I had fuel in my tank to get me where I wanted to go today and home. However, I wanted to double check. Uh, so instead of coming out of the sat nav, you just push the button that's behind here. It'll take you through the screen, so it'll tell you temperature, time, obviously what gear you're in, speed. And then on this screen, it'll show you like range. So I've got 119 miles to empty. Um, fuel economy, outside temperature and battery voltage. So it gives you all that information right here. And then you just push this button up here to the left. And it will skip you back through to the sat nav again. And then when you're on the sat nav screen, it will show you your speed and it will show you a tiny little four there, so in fourth gear indicator. And it kind of gives you an idea that in 1.6 miles, it'll be a roundabout. So that's kind of cool. Very self-explanatory. I, I don't have this hooked up to like earphones or anything like that in my ears. I am literally just following the instruction on the screen. And because of the really nice placement of the screen, it's not distracting in any way at all. You can literally glance and you're hardly taking your eyes off the road to be able to see it. So, so far, so good. It has had its first service now. It had it two weeks ago now. The, you felt the change in it right away from what they did during its service. Um, it's made, it's just, the bike is just lovely now. The power is incredible. I will show you that right this second. It is a flying machine. <laughs> it is a flying machine. This bike just wants to go and I haven't even tried it in sports mode yet still after this long of having it and putting the miles I put on it I have still not had it in sports mode so you know maybe I'll try that later on today it's a lovely dry day absolutely bone dry there's not been a bit of rain in days and days so today could be that day for sports mode people it could be that day have really missed vlogging. I do enjoy creating things. I've, I'm a very creative person and other than my main kind of job, I did have a little sideline which I have not really pursued that much this year. I decided to really take a step back from it and dedicate a bit more time to other things that I love. And that was the plan at the start of the year. We had been on holiday over the Christmas period. We had met some new friends who we watch on YouTube. And speaking to them at that point inspired me at that point. Not saying their words didn't stick, not saying that at all. But although the the words although the words inspired me of what they were saying and telling me and came back in the new year I was like, right, that's it, I am going to do this. Gareth isn't here a lot, so I will get out on the bike more and do more vlogs on my own, take you guys along and really take over the channel. That clearly, as you may have, if you are a regular viewer, thank you, um, you may have noticed that already, that that has not been the case. And I am sorry for that. I am not necessarily, forgive me for this, but I'm not exactly sorry for you guys <laughs> for that. 
I am sorry to myself for that. Oh, a walled garden? Oh, that's interesting. Might need to check that out. More for my own self, because I had promised myself that the other way to channel my creativity would be into creating more vlogs. And as I say, combining the love of motorcycling along with video editing and you know everything that goes along with it the picking of the music the setting of the scene the planning really and recently we were on holiday and um, <laughs> sorry i'm laughing because that guy just did the peace sign it just made me think he got his tiktok video <laughs> um, where was i we were recently on holiday and I have previously vlogged trips away and I didn't do it this time and it wasn't until we came home and we've spoke about it that we realized that actually creating vlogs for so many different reasons for me is a passion it's a passion that I lost for the first part of this year, I would say, after making that decision to take over the channel, I somehow it just went. The creative side of me just disappeared. I let go of it so much. I chose to do other things instead that really weren't generating any creativity at all and we're really wasting my time. We're not in this world for a long time, are we? So you can't really afford to be wasting time doing what I was doing. I thought I'll take more time for myself and go to bed earlier and that go to bed earlier was way earlier. But hey, I am not a morning person. I am at my best at night. I suffered from insomnia for a while after living abroad. Or, well, I started when I was living abroad. And I therefore have become a nighttime person. I, my mind is most active at night when it comes to creativity. It just doesn't like to switch off. So with that being said, I am going to go back to creating things for this channel. I have decided to start to create for my own channel, which I started in, well, I started it a while back. I started the main vlogs for it right before COVID, as in, in Florida, 2020, right before COVID shut us all down. So, <laughs> I am not going to publicise that channel here because at the end of the day you guys are here for the motorcycles and the motorcycle related content and that's how I'm going to keep it. Anything lifestyle related to do with the motorcycles and Gareth and I and yeah and Lincolns is not as far away from that main road as I thought it was because I am already here and Satnav has brought me right there so that's nice. <laughs> We know the sat nav works, yay! We will now consider going a little bit longer journeys with the chief and trusting that the sat nav works absolutely perfectly fine. I will give you a little review on that when we're done. There's a few people being Dennis. This is nice down here. Hmm. Okay, let's go find some places to take some pictures and maybe get a little drink. So this is the harbour at Lane Kilns. That is the River Forth. And there you'll see the kind of white things in the background there. That is the Queen's Ferry Crossing, Forth Road and Well Bridges. So a really beautiful little area here. Glad I discovered it eventually and we'll definitely be back. So I thought we'd maybe just round the video off here, you guys, off the bike. Really 
have taken a step back and thought, do you know, I really do love doing it. The more I do, the more kind of confidence that I build and I was starting to get somewhere and I've kind of let it slip. So let's go back to the start again. Let's get these vlogs coming to you guys and take you along on all our journeys. We have a couple of things planned in the very near future. Um, which we are going to be doing on our motorcycles heading a bit further south which will be the first time I've been that far south on a bike before so we'll be taking you guys along and I'm sure I will take you along on all my other little adventures on the Chief in the meantime now that she's had her service and I can go wherever I want um, without having to worry about mileage anymore I really enjoy riding the Chief I needed to get back out on a nice day to really appreciate her again and I think this ride today has done that. I really enjoyed using the sat nav today so I will definitely be doing a little bit more of that and going a little bit further afield and going routes that I wouldn't have normally have went just to really put it through its paces. At the end of the day I always have the backup of Google Maps on my phone but I really did enjoy the sat nav on the bike but it was really easy and where the display is, it was really easy to be able to view it and see exactly where I was going when the junction was coming up or the turn or the manoeuvre, whatever it may be. So thumbs up for that. It's one of the main reasons why I like this bike for the features that it had, um, especially the sat nav. So we are finally putting those to good use. So. Hope you guys will stick around and come along with me on my next vlog, which hopefully will not be in the too distant future. Um, I'm going to promise myself as much as I'm promising you guys for what, when that's going to be. So I promise that I will have that out soon. <laughs> so I hope you are all well. I'll see you guys in the next one. Um, ride safe and as always, keep hauling ass.